Hello everyone, I'm Arif Kahraman Wei, and today I'm going to talk you about luck, how it can shape our future, is it controllable or not, and going to answer the question maybe all of you watching wonder, am I consider myself lucky? Before starting, I wish to uh, give a background information about myself, because if I were you and listening to myself, I would be great, greatly interested in the background of the speaker. Uh, as said, I'm Arif Kahramanwe, 18-year-old freshman math student at Middle East Technical University. I had a few eco-friendly projects that won several awards, both nationally and internationally. I'm currently working as a chief tech news editor in Norwalkback.com, and also before starting, I wish to devote my first TEDx speech to my biggest luck in my life, my mother. Well, what is luck? When you search the, in the Google, it gives you a definition like this, a success or failure apparently brought by a chance rather than through one's own actions. Here's a catch. You may wonder what's a chance then. Chance definition is the occurrence of events in an absence of, uh, in an absence of anything. By combining these two definitions, we can give a, like, a rough definition of success or failure apparently caused by a non-existing randomity. Although most people now think about work as minor positive things, such as winning in a giveaway competition or getting a chance to meet a famous person, and while these occurrences are indeed mm, ways or examples of work, its conception and capabilities are far greater than them. I can convince that you will hardly have found an ordinary person thinking about bad events or failures when hearing the word of work. But as from the definition, work is actually the bad events. And if you won't fail in your business earlier, you, you, uh, you won't know how to deal with stressful situations later. And a good example for the good things which modern societies refer as bad things is a sentence that I wrote in, that I read in Mark Manson's book. Negatives create positives. So, if, we, if there were no negatives, we, we, won't not, we, we won't appreciate the goods and the positive things. So, if you run into a problem or fail in your business or in your life, don't worry. Maybe it's a sign of your great work. However, not running into problems is also means that you are a lucky person and everything in your life works perfectly as they should be. These two definitions might contrary with each other, but as from the work's general uh, defining, it's both success and failure. Can work shape our future, or is it? As shortly, yes. Work has plays a vital role in shaping our future. Here I wish to give a few examples, and while they may sound like cliches, anyway. I wish to ask you a question. Is the Harry Potter series the miracle, the masterpiece of the child literature or general book industry? Or is the J.K. Rowling the best and most talented writer of all time? Answer is obviously not. However, we can clearly say that although Rowling wasn't the best or the most talented, she certainly was one of the luckiest and wealthiest. She's what made her Harry Potter series spotted by Warner Brothers and making her second richest writer of today. If uh, she wasn't lucky, she would probably be uh, writing thousands of hundreds of books like other authors to earn her living or become famous. Or is the Amazon best e-shopping site ever? Also, it's obviously not. Amazon isn't the best user-friendly site. There are, I can say, thousands and hundreds of more user-friendly sites than Amazon. However, their owners or the sites themselves weren't as lucky as Amazon or Jeff Bezos. You may ask a question that you said that bad things is a work or work is a bad things, but you didn't gi give any examples of the bad events that's caused by work. I wish to give one example, which is in all newspapers, all mass media uh, in, uh, for the last week. You got it, the ship named Ever Given from the company of Evergreen broke the Suez Canal and causing the massive uh, ship traffic during the 
uh, channel and uh, causing delays in supply chains of thousands of technological and non-technological devices. Uh, this bad event uh, learned the Swiss Canal Authority a great lesson. They, uh, from now on, they will prepare for these types of stressful and bad situations more uh, readily. They will buy more equipment, they will develop more efficient tactics to um, free, free those ships that are stuck in the channel or that will be stuck in the channel in the future. I also wish to give an example from Wala Hanum, which uh, spoke before me. Uh, that she had a bad situation when she was teaching in the kindergarten, and the uh, child from the lesson were cried and were unhappy, wasn't talking about anything. But that bad event caused her, her life drastically, and she developed new te techniques, and she improved herself uh, from that situation. So, moving on to my third question, is the work uh, controllable? You know, sometimes our work is on its general state and presents thousands of options to choose from. And these types of moments, we have to be extremely careful because these uh, decisions shape our future and affect our future life uh, dramatically. One of the examples to controllable work is me coming to this TEDx speech. I got a message from the WhatsApp saying, saying that, I you wish to take in a part in this great event? I can deny it or I can accept it. My work already uh, gave me an option. I choose to yes and I'm now here talking about work to you. Finally, am I consider myself a lucky person? Yes, I am lucky. I am lucky because I have a great mother who supports me in every step I took. I am lucky because I am now studying in a university that thousands and hundreds of people, even more smarter than me, wish to study in. I am lucky because I had great failures that taught me great lessons in their life. I am lucky because I can distinguish between fakery and real reality in the friendship, and I own real, trustful friends. So, I am considering myself lucky. What about you? And thanks for listening. And don't forget the sentence, we are up all night to get lucky. <laughs> <laughs>